with my teeth, had a shower. She had a shower as well, so that was a lot of water. Probably going to the toilet more than anything else. The sink. The dishwasher. And the, the washing machine. Our modern scheme of civilization, we do use water in large quantities. You know, water is essential to life. Without water, there is no animal or vegetable life. A lot of people do have a misconception that water is an endless resource and that it's continuously cycling around. Uh, and globally, the water cycle is a closed loop. The water that we use is always at the local scale. So you're taking it out of the Thames River or you're taking it out of the Indus River in Pakistan or wherever it may be. And that water will return to different places, and so you're still abstracting from a very local point, which might need that water in, in, to sort of sustain its own natural ecological balance. Embedded water is more of a concept than an actual practical term. It's basically just the amount of water that is produced through the entire process. For things like a cotton t-shirt, um, about 2,700 liters on average in a single t-shirt. In fact, there isn't a, an art or a science or an industry that doesn't use water and a great deal of it in many ways in producing whatever type of good that industry or art uh, turns out. If you look at how much embedded water a person consumes in a day, a small portion of that is the water that you actually, you know, that actually comes out of your tap. Um, so a water meter will help you take control of the water that you are directly responsible for. Watch your meters. Watch your meters. Watch. You see, I'm doing quite well. Oh, just a moment, please. Now I can relax again for a few days. <laughs>